four and number five are the most famous one. Number one and two are very little played usually in concert because they have been somehow degraded as pupils' concerts. So usually you learn them when you're like 10, 11, and then nobody wants to play them anymore because you play them so much as a child. Um, I was in the lucky situation that I didn't play number one and number two as a child. I only played number three and number five. Yes, of course it's a challenge, because uh, whenever you do a cyclist of anything, uh, the challenge is not to become boring. I mean, if, if you're doing, doing five concertos of the same composer, then it, there's a huge danger of going into the same routine over and over again in every concerto, especially with Mozart, because he had a very solid compose, composing technique. So actually, it is, you can always, uh, immediately after one bar, see this is Mozart. And the challenge is to really uh, change from one concerto to the next concerto, also the mood you're playing in, and within the concerto, that it's it, it stays um, curious and interesting, and and that you really develop a new world each time you're playing a concerto. I've never done this cyclos, you know. This is the first time that I'm doing. It's the first time that I'm playing all the five concerti, and it's actually usually very easy for me to remember music, but. All the five concertos by Mozart is not so easy because they are very similar and one passage from one concerto can easily be uh, changed into the passage of the other concerto. But so far it's going well in the rehearsal, so we hope that I will start with the same concerto as I'm ending. <laughs>